As news coverage has been dominated by the chaos in the Senate and the White House, one senior official in the Trump administration has been quietly getting away with implementing immigration policies that could change the very fabric of our society. This is the check-in. From anonymous op-eds to books detailing the horrors of working in the Trump administration, we're led to believe that pretty much everyone in the White House is miserable. But that's not the case for everyone. Because you might remember Trump's senior policy advisor, Stephen Miller, right? <laughs> Miller is the architect of everything from the Muslim travel ban to separating children from their parents at the border. Now, Miller has been avoiding TV cameras lately, but when he first got into the White House, he wasn't shy about publicly defending his horrendous views on immigration. And just watch him put the offensive in charm offensive. In the end, the powers of the President of the United States will be reaffirmed, and the whole world will see clearly and unmistakably, and it's a message I want the world to hear today, that this country will protect its borders. I would happen to know better than you would, Jake, about how the travel ban was written. And I just want to it say... Sounds like to you you're trying to engineer the and racial say, and ethnic flow of people into this country. Yeah, this that policy. is one of the most outrageous, insulting, ignorant, and foolish things you've ever said. Man, imagine being that fired up about deporting people. Jim, I would fight you right now if I weren't rock hard and forced to stand behind this podium. But getting off on publicly attacking illegal immigrants wasn't enough for Miller. He's now more quietly going after legal immigrants as well. Miller was behind an egregious new proposal that would make it more difficult for legal immigrants who have used any kind of public assistance, things like food stamps or housing vouchers, to get a green card or obtain citizenship in the U.S. This has already resulted in some immigrants turning down government help to buy infant formula and healthy food for their young children. Although, if you listen to Fox News, this whole thing isn't Trump's fault at all. It says that immigrants are already turning down government subsidies to help buy staple foods and infant formula for fear that it could bar them from receiving a green card. Is that something that's really happening or is that not true? If it's happening, it's happening because, again, the, the far-left media is, is misinforming the American people. They want people to panic. They want, they want the American people to think this, this president is racist and he's against poor people. The left doesn't exactly have to do anything to make Trump sound more racist. Okay, guys, he called for the execution of the Central Park Five. He was sued for not renting to black people. He called NFL players sons of bitches. But America still thinks he's a one-man Benetton ad. So, <laughs> any ideas? <laughs> but that's why Trump gets along so well with people like Stephen Miller, because they're both racist and hate poor people, especially the most vulnerable people in the world, like refugees. Just a few weeks ago, the administration said they would be limiting the number of refugees the United States would accept next year to a mere 30,000, which is a record low. And, of course, Miller had his tentacles all over this decision as well. The Trump administration plans to slash the number of refugees allowed into the U.S. to just 30,000 at a time when the U.N. is saying the crisis of refugees, the surge in the number of refugees around the world is unprecedented. It is considered a, a really egregious setback in terms of national security and foreign policy. Well, if, the, if Secretary Mattis and Secretary Pompeo aren't driving the policy, who is? Stephen Miller, he's 33 years old. I'm sorry. No, you're not. That's exactly what you're <laughs> saying. No, it is hilarious that that guy is 33. <laughs> Even his hair doesn't want to be associated with him. <laughs> now, whether it comes to limiting, whether it comes to limiting the number of refugees or installing a zero tolerance policy for immigrants crossing the border, Miller and the administration are defending these misguided policies by claiming that they're focused on putting Americans first. So how's that going? Cancer research is taking a hit because of immigration costs. CNN is reporting the Trump administration is moving $260 million from cancer research, HIV, AIDS, and other programs to cover the cost of housing undocumented immigrant children in custody. New policies of holding kids longer and reuniting them later are one of the reasons for the move. So in order to pay for detention camps for children, we're cutting back on cancer research. Now, you may be asking yourself, why couldn't they take the money from somewhere else? Well, it's difficult to make that decision because President Trump just has too many good ideas that need funding. What are we going to do? Space Force. <laughs> so 
So how is Trump's favorite ghoul, Stephen Miller, able to get away with his takeover of immigration policy? Current and former administration officials say Miller has been blocking opponents from key meetings, restricting the flow of information, and inserting his allies in key positions. Stephen just had this aura about him. People realized at that point, this guy, Stephen, is the president of immigration. I don't think that's an aura around Stephen Miller. It's just the formaldehyde evaporating. <laughs> and things have gotten so bad. Things have gotten so bad that Miller's own childhood rabbi is now warning people about Miller's immigration policies. The West L.A. childhood rabbi of presidential aide Stephen Miller is blasting his former student for supporting the Trump immigration agenda. Rabbi Neil Comes Daniels lashed out during his sermon in Santa Monica marking the Jewish New Year. There were groans when Rabbi Comes Daniels began his sermon reading a letter to Stephen Miller. To Stephen Miller, <laughs> senior advisor to the president. It's completely um, uh, un untenable. It, it, it is not ethical um, and it's cruel. To be fair, those two have been at odds since the bris. Rabbi, stop! That's his head! <laughs> Even Miller's own uncle has come out publicly to draw attention to how hypocritical and heinous Miller's views on immigration are. Our family history is entirely dependent upon the fact that our family was able to escape from a terrible situation in uh, what is now the country of Belarus. Put it simply, had we not been able to enter America when we did, Stephen Miller would never exist. That's right, Stephen Miller is a descendant of immigrants, not just immigrants, but refugees. I don't know what kind of brain disease causes that level of self-hatred, but we've probably diverted money from it to pay for detention camps for children. <laughs> this has been The Check-In.